Hello, I am Vikram with IBM QRadar team and in this video we will demonstrate how to perform searches in QRadar using various filters. Let us now go to our QRadar panel. Any SOC analyst would like to create searches in case he wants to search for any particular data for a particular time period or any threat actors or for any of his business purposes. So this can be created by clicking on our log activity tab, search and then selecting new search. Now here we can select any saved search that we would want to extend in our new search that we are creating. Currently I am creating a search completely from scratch and hence not selecting any of it. Then let us select the time range and let me select for last six hours as per our next we select the columns that we would like to group our results or we can select the columns that we would like to see in our event results for example let us select the event description and add it to the list of columns so if you see over here event description is now being added let me move this upwards and this will be the column that will be displayed in search results. Now let us specify the search parameters, the actual search parameters. Suppose I select category indexed, then the operators wherein equals, does not equals or equals any of, and then we can select the high level category as authentication, low level category I'm selecting or keeping as any, and I'll click on add filters. We can select the save results checkbox if we want to save the results when the search is completed. Else, I'll just click on search, which will execute the search for last six hours and check for the filter parameters that we have provided in our search creation. So as we can see, the progress is displayed over here in the percentages as and when the searches are being executed. Once the search is executed, we can see the results have been gathered. If you remember, the results or the columns are the values that we had selected earlier. Even description column was actually not previously available, but it was added by us separately. Now it's possible to add additional filters over the result. So I can still add a filter over here by clicking on add filter in this toolbar wherein we have different drop down options available such as source IP, destination IP, log sources, etc. Add those values over here and click on add filter. This is one way to add or give additional filters for this search. Other way around is to have the right click option. Suppose I select source IP column and I just right click and then I'll have filter options such as filter on source IP is 127.0.0.1. If I don't want results wherein the source IP are this, I'll add a filter saying the source IP is not 127.0.0.1. And then the search will be re-executed, recalibrated, and the results will be displayed for the search combining our previous filter which is high level categories authentication and the source IP is not 127 by this and this. Apart from this we can still sort the columns based on any of the column that is available over here. So first there's an event name log source event count. So just by clicking on event count, that column name, the results are getting sorted, which will be displayed. And if you see, it is displayed in descending order as of now, which is also indicated by this icon over here. Apart from this, we can select or change the start date and time as necessary from the drop down boxes over here. And then we can just click on update and hence all the search will be executed with the existing filters for that time period. We can select the display groups or display parameters how we would want to group our results. So suppose if I group them by source IP, I'm selecting source IP in display drop down. So all this search for this particular time period and these filters will be grouped according to source IPs and displayed over here. Now if you see there are 40 events having source IP of 192, 168, 164 and 126. So these are now grouped according to source IPs as per 
our display option. If you want to remove a particular filter, just click on clear filter and then the search will be recalibrated with the remaining filters available which in our case is just high level categories authentication and the results will be displayed on our screen so as we can see the results have been gathered for high level categories authentication for this time period grouped by the source ips and now we have the source ip 127.0.0 also added in our saved results thank you for joining us if you need more assistance, use the links in the description.